Okay, this is not a vlogging session. This is a crash course in chemistry gear section. Okay, so for us, what we're going to do, I'm going to try to go for two things here today. One is how to use the electronic balance. That'd be a key thing. It's pretty simple, and I got to flip the camera over to the balance. So here it is and you need this to weigh stuff. All right, how do we do that? Well, the first thing you wanna do is make sure that your balance is on zero. Then, once you do that, you can take whatever object you're doing, in this case, I'm gonna use a dropper, put that on, and oh look, it says 2.87 grams. So that's the mass of the object, okay? Do that again, I put in a cup of water. And you find, oh look, it's 150.55 grams. It's that easy, all right? But a few things. Can you make this thing go too much? Yes, so let me show you. See, ERR2, that means get it off of me, get it off of me, you freak, it's too heavy. Because there's a maximum thing of 200 grams on there, okay? So that'd be kind of important. Now you may notice, hey, it's not set at zero. And that's because there's a little bit of water on there. So let's say I don't care about the water. How do I re-zero this? There is a re-zero button right here. So you can press that. And then it zeroes it itself out and you're ready to go and weigh again. And here's our grad cylinder. Oh look, 24.23 grams. Yup. So that's how much the uh, thing weighs. All right. Now, with that, we're going to change because I got to go and do another video on how to read a meniscus. Catch you on the flip side.